Our latest update, Studio One Pro 7.2, is packed with bug fixes, stability and performance improvements, Sub-Zero Bass, our brand new virtual instrument, but also quality of life improvements that might not look super exciting on a change log or release notes, but actually makes your life a lot easier when using the software daily. First up, I want to talk about some pattern mode improvements. So here in this pattern, for example, I have a bunch of things going on. Take a listen. And I can hear already that there's a ton more elements playing in this drum kit than what I can currently see here in the pattern editor. And that is because I have the step zoom factor quite large, right? So that I see all of the individual steps, but you can see I could scroll here sideways and vertically. And if I want to see the entirety of my pattern, well, guess what? I would have to use Shift, W and E to get this back into focus, which wasn't very effective. Instead, we have the popular auto zoom, which has existed already for the arrangement and the editors in the pattern mode as well. So you can just click on this icon to toggle it. And this will basically put the entire pattern that you're working on in perfect horizontal and vertical focus. And as you're resizing the pattern, note how the notes are staying in place. So it's sizing just like you already knew this behavior from here, right? So now we have this also for the pattern mode and this is just a massive convenience. Also, I want to point out how much better these pattern events look, right? You can clearly see which of the steps have notes playing and which don't. And this is also still very clearly visible even at lower zoom states. I think this is just fantastic. Another widely requested feature that's now implemented in Studio One Pro 7.2 is a new shortcut called Smart Delete. Previously, it wasn't all that intuitive inside of Studio One Pro to, for example, remove a virtual instrument, right? Because if you would hit the classic delete, then you would delete the instrument track. But guess what? Here in the mixer console, you would still see the instrument, even though you just removed the instrument track for it. And why is that? Well, because in Studio One Pro, Pro, tracks and channels do not have to be the same thing. For example, it would be possible that you have a second track that's assigned to the same instrument to keep the main instrument clear. Like that, right? Then it would be very annoying that removing the instrument track would also remove the fill, this track would be orphaned and no longer play, right? But in most cases, we actually do want to delete both. So this is why Smart Delete is such a great addition. This is assigned by default to Shift plus Delete. So if you want to trigger that, all you need to do is just select the track that you want. And if there's still another track that's assigned to the same instrument, then Smart Delete will have the old behavior. It won't delete the instrument from the rack as well. But let's assume for a second that this is the only track that's assigned to the instrument, then Smart Delete will delete both the track and the instrument. Also, it works on channels as well. Before you had to have a separate delete command for your mixer channels, like bus channels. And now you can always use smart delete, no matter what kind of track or channel it is. It will always work, as you can see. We also implemented yet another arrangement feature request from the Studio One Pro community, which is that the cursor can now be fixed to the center or the left hand side of the arrangement with the events themselves scrolling continuously. This is a popular behavior that you might know from other DAWs and it's now available as an option in Studio One as well. You find this if you right click here on the auto scroll button. The auto scroll button basically will make the cursor the point of zoom. And when you right click this, you see two new options here. One of them is continuous centered. So normally what happens is that as soon as the play at cursor reaches the border, the zoom state will basically shift to the right so that we see the rest of the arrangement again. But now with this new option, for example, continuous centered, notice what happens as soon as the play at cursor reaches the center. Now we're basically keeping the play at cursor centered and the events are scrolling along instead. So this is like a fixed point that always stays in the center. Another option is continuous left. 
So now the player cursor would always be on the left and just see what's coming up on the right. Personally, I don't use this very much, but I know that some people are a big fan of this behavior from other DAWs. So there you go. Now it's also available at Studio One Pro. Another huge quality of life improvement in Studio One Pro 7.2, especially for producers like me who are using outboard equipment, is a smarter export with real time. What do I mean by that? Well, let's look at this sound project right here, where I'm using a preamp that is here in my studio via pipeline. This is a plugin that we use to basically route effect plugins that are hardware and integrate them into the signal chain as if they're plugins really. If you want to learn more about that, I have an entire video covering pipeline. I'm going to link that here, but let's go back to this preamp. So I currently have that on this vocal track. And if I want to export that, then I would have to do that in real time because the vocal would have to run through that unit in real time. It can't do that any faster because we haven't invented time travel yet. So that's all well and good but let's assume for just a second here that I do not wish to export this vocal track right now I mean it's empty anyway and instead I just want to export a section of the playback here from the chorus maybe to play that to a friend and ask for an opinion then previously what would have happened before Studio One Pro 7.2 if I go to song and export mix down and hit OK it would basically run through the entire process in real time. And why does that happen? Because the vocal track, even though that's not currently used, has a real time processing unit on it. So you can see how that's not exactly ideal, which is why we have a new quality of life option in Studio One Pro 7.2. So let me show you the same thing now. When I solo the playback track here and it doesn't have any real time processing and I go to export mix down, notice this new option that I have here under processing. I can set that to automatic. In fact, it's going to be set to automatic after you update. And what this means is that Studio One will intelligently determine whether real time processing is required or not, depending on whether the tracks that are part of your mix down have real time processing units on them or not. So in my case, the playback track doesn't have this. And so I can quickly render this course out in real time. I do not have to wait for the hardware processing that's not even used anymore.